Welcome, welcome back to all my current subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Lakeisha Inspires family. I wanted to share something with you guys that I found very interesting in regards to the Rabbi Kadori prophecy. Yesterday, I was watching a video. Um, shout out to Interprets 165. They are awesome and... I believe the Lord definitely uh, led me to them. So, as you guys know, the Rabbi Kadori prophecy is um, basically <clears throat> after Rosh Hashanah, he said that Sabbath after Rosh Hashanah, that the, uh, that the Messiah, King Messiah, will come and be revealed. And I showed you guys in the last, in, uh, it's not the last video, a couple of videos ago, I was showing you guys that um, at that time we thought, or I thought, I believe that according to my understanding and everything, this is not thus said the Lord, but I believe that uh, Holy Spirit was pointing to November 7th and I thought that November 7th would be the day that the Messiah <clears throat> revealed himself and the day that we were uh, raptured or glorified. As you guys know, we're still here in um, Tishri, the month of Tishri, the seventh month. And let me show you all this real quick. If this, you know, this phone want to work because it's been acting real weird. All right. Mm. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> okay. So, on October 31st, we had the blue moon. October 30th, we had the earthquake in um, Turkey. We had the Feast of Tabernacles start on October 31st. And from October 31st to... November 7th, that's seven days. And so I was thinking this Sabbath right here, the second Sabbath in green, that would have been the time that the Messiah will come and reveal himself, right? Which is the Sabbath after um, Rosh Hashanah, the new year. So... I was under the impression that the seventh month and the 17th day would be the day that we would, like I said, either receive glorification, be raptured, or um, and or the Messiah revealed himself, which is the Antichrist, okay? So... That did not happen. We are here now. It is November 12th, 2020, and we're still here. So this is what I believe the Lord showed me, y'all, yesterday, November 11th, in regards to this Rabbi Kadori prophecy. So we all know on November 7th, right, on November 7th, that is when Biden declared himself president, basically. 
and when I was watching the video yesterday, <clears throat> the guys over at Interprets 165, they were talking about, they had showed this picture. No, they had broke down the book of Revelation, I believe the scripture, um, Revelation 13. They broke down Revelation 13 and I forgot the verse. They broke that down <clears throat> and then they went into breaking down um, it was Revelation 13, 18. <clears throat> so they went in and they broke down Revelation 13, 18 and it was basically talking about the beast and the number of his name and whatnot. And you know, y'all, this is very this 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 verse like has been sticking out to me since uh yesterday when um this was shown okay it says the beast from the earth that's the the um the story title okay he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, the, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. And that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast. Or the number of his name. So they had broke all that down right there. And then they broke down this one. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. His number is 666. And. <clears throat> in the message version of uh, Revelation 13, 18, it says, solve a riddle, put your heads together and figure out the meaning of the number of the beast. It's a human number, 666. And let's break this down a little bit more. Let's try to go into the Amplify and see what they say. Here is wisdom. Let the person who has enough insights calculate the number of the beast, for it is the imperfect number of a man, and his number is 666. Okay? And that, I don't know, Revelation 13, 18 right there, that just kept standing out to me. I'm like, okay, well, this, this, um, like, it's not by coincidence, y'all. This stuff cannot be by coincidence. Y'all listening? Y'all better be listening for real. This is like a wild, wild, super, oh my goodness. Like, this is wild. Okay? So, he he does the math, which is 2020 divided by 666 six, six, equal. Wait a minute. 2020. Oh, no, no. 2020. Sorry, y'all. Divided by 666. Equal. All right. Y'all with me now? Okay. So listen. <laughs> I'm like, when he, when he showed that, Holy Spirit brought back into remembrance. When I seen that number, I was looking at something in regards to the elections or something. And I believe I seen this number and I looked and I'm like, hmm, you know, I don't, I didn't see any importance in, in it. I didn't understand it. I didn't know what to do with it. And y'all paying attention. Three, zero, three, three, zero. Three three zero three, and it's gonna keep repeating. Okay. Let's 
Look at that. <clears throat> Team Joe. Text Joe to 30330. Like, what? Like, come on, y'all. Like, this is not by coincidence. This is not. 30330. 30330. 30330. 30330. Like, do y'all see that? Like, that is not by coincidence, y'all. Like, there is no way that the book of Revelation says this. And it tells you if you have, if you're smart enough, if you have the wisdom and you want to know this, then you can do the calculations yourself and you're going to see who that person is. But we had to wait for the time to come to be able to really interpret that scripture. I'm sure it is like 6662. However, um, there's some calculations. It's, it goes further than just 666. And this calculation, y'all, this is not by coincidence. Like, let me know what y'all think. But all I'm saying is, I don't know if Interprets 165 is, like, are they the ones that really just calculated and had the wisdom and the understanding from God and the direction and the guidance from God to be able to figure this out. Y'all, this is like super, super wow to me. And of course, um, you know, this happened on November 7th. So my question is, was the Antichrist, is, did he just... Reveal himself to the world. If you want, if you, if you. If you're all in for the B system that's coming, text Joe, basically, because this is the number of the beast. What is it? The beast from the earth. The beast from the earth, y'all. The beast from the earth. And then yesterday around, you know, this is so this is what God also was. Um, this is what he was showing because like when I seen what they were doing and they was asking anybody about this number, I would look and know what I'm about to show y'all. And it brought me right back to when I seen this number and I already knew it. I said, that is the antichrist that is that's the number of the antichrist that's the that's that's what it <laughs> they like let the person who has enough insight calculate calculate the number of the beast for it is the imperfect number of a man and his number is 666 calculates keyword calculates you gotta calculate it's not gonna be just like 666 you know um i'm sure that it could be, but this is not the case right here. And I tried it with Obama's text campaign numbers. I tried it with Trump's. And none of their stuff came back to the same thing as their campaign text number. None of it aligned. <laughs> and so I'm standing in the kitchen... And I feel in my spirit. <clears throat> this is still, this might be the fulfilled prophecy of Kaduri. This might just be the fulfilled prophecy of Kaduri, y'all. And I'm about to show you. I'm about to show y'all. Rosh Hashanah, the Jubilee year, so it's right there. All of you know the feast is together right there. So 
the Sabbath after Rosh Hashanah, right? Rosh Hashanah, I was, like I said, looking for the green second Sabbath right here, but it didn't happen that way. However, on November 7th, right, which is the Sabbath after Rosh Hashanah, guess what happens? Biden declares himself president of the United States. And none of the states have come together in agreement with this. And this is not by coincidence either, y'all. Like, this is not like, oh my goodness, like, is this the prophecy of Rabbi Kadori being fulfilled right here? Is it? I don't know. Let me know you guys' thoughts because I'm like pretty pumped up and excited. Like, because I'm like, Lord, we're out of all the feast days. And when I seen um, the video, they were talking about, you know, basically giving it until until we're out of Tishri, but more so on um, November 14th because the last time we were looking at the calendar or whatnot, they were looking at and um, they were looking at the moon calendar instead of the solar calendar. And so looking at the solar calendar, that's the time that God uses. And I'm going to do another, hopefully maybe another video on that. But that is the calendar that God used. Um, and that's when Biden pronounced himself, declared himself the 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 winner of the United States presidency. And that is wow. This is not the say of the Lord. Now let me show you something else real quick. There you go. Second Chronicles. <clears throat> On the 23rd day of the seventh month, he sent the people away to their tents, joyful and glad of hearts for the good that the Lord had done for David, for Solomon, and for his people Israel. 23rd day of the seventh month. Okay, so we have the 23rd day of the seventh month. And I think earlier I said the 14th. I think it's, it's, I believe it's November 13th. And November 13th will be the next Sabbath. So the 14th or the 13th, I'm sorry, is the next Sabbath. According to Second Chronicles 7.10, um, I think it's possible between November 13th and November 14th um, would be very high watch dates. Like I was saying, because we were looking at the wrong um, calendar, well, we were looking at the right calendar, the Enoch calendar. However, we were looking, we were looking at the lunar instead of the solar and... God showed me that too, like November 11th, I was like trying to figure out the calendar and how to make sure that we are using God's calendar and in the information that I found, it was saying that we need to be using the solar calendar, not the lunar calendar. And I just couldn't put anything together. And later on that day, 
the Lord um, um, gave interpret 165 the wisdom knowledge and the guidance and whatnot to be able to I believe figure this all out and we're all putting the puzzle pieces together to complete the puzzle and like I do come in agreement with them when they said that and my end times future you know we've never been to the end of the world before we've never had we never been in the escape before we're only sharing with you guys what we find on our journey while we're watching and waiting and looking for the appearance of our Lord and Savior. This is not thus saith the Lord, and we don't know. We are just taking you guys on our journey, on the journey with us, and whatever we you know, feel Holy Spirit has led us to, then we're sharing it with you guys, you know, in hopes to give people, you know, encouragement and inspiration and, and to know that Jesus Christ is coming. He is coming and God is so full of grace and mercy and it's not his will that anyone should perish that he's going to extend it out as long as he could. Also, you guys, don't forget to take these confirmations. <clears throat> what I'm saying or what anyone says, take it to the Lord for your own confirmations. Um, this is not thus saith the Lord. So with that, um, we are still um, in the month of Tishri. I believe that we might even still be in the tabernacles, uh, the Feast of Tabernacle, um, because I know there is a scripture where the tabernacles, um, the tabernacle lasted for 14 days instead of seven. So, um, <clears throat> It's still in line with my end times teacher's timeline. We was just off. We don't need a calendar, but to get a more accurate date, I think that you should go by the solar calendar, which, like I said before, that is God's calendar that um, is used. That is what he used. Um, if we, for some reason, <laughs> is still here after the tabernacle, the Feast of Tabernacles and the month of Tishri is gone. I, I'm not sure where to go from there, but I know one thing that the Lord will um, give one of us, one of us watch women, men, um, people that are seeking, watching for us to turn. He, he will give somebody the piece of the puzzle, and I'm sure it'll be, you know, put up there and um, online for other people to see. And some one of us will come across it and we would just keep watching and waiting because we know that God cannot lie. His word says um, that he will rescue us and he will come back for us. So as always, I love you guys. And remember that God loves you more. The ABC salvation is in the description box below this video. If you have not made the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Please make the decision to do so now. We are in the final, final seconds. If you die without Jesus Christ in your heart, or if you're left behind, and for any reason at all, any reason, you get the mark of the beast, you will be cast into the lake of fire. If I don't get to make another video, I hope to see you guys in glory and on the other sides. Remember, y'all, Jesus is coming. Woo! Jesus is coming. Woo. Yes, he is. Keep, keep looking up for our redemption draws nigh in our blessed hope. Our blessed hope. He is coming to save us. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And I love you guys.